Hey everybody, I'm back. Yes. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say that this is a general introduction slash set of announcements slash thank you um, to everybody. So if you don't want to hear all of that, feel free to click the timestamp. It should be in the description box. You can go straight to your reading for the month. I know how it is. Sometimes you don't want to hear all that. Um, I have some notes because, like, a low-key, I'm nervous. Um, no, but also I just, like, feel really bad because I haven't, you know, posted in a minute. Anyway, look, I want to say thank you because, number one, I have, like, 200 subscribers. Again, I feel like I mentioned that in the other video, but this is, like, thank you just in general um, because that's very surprising. I you know, wasn't really sure if anyone would ever be interested because like, you know, um, so that's just the one thing. Um, the other is that it's just um, throughout this whole thing of like being an internet person, like at least to a certain degree, um, everyone has been so nice and supportive. And I mean that with like kind words consistently, um, people really speaking really well about themselves, which is very important. I feel like when people have that kind of energy about themselves, it's a lot easier to like feel good about yourself. Um, and just like hearing a bunch of cool stuff about everyone from everyone and just like sharing an interest and having fun, that's really special to me. And so I do want to say thank you, whether it's your first time coming here um, it doesn't really matter. I feel like, you know, especially with just like being around doing this long enough, you know, and just all y'all who've been rocking with me, I really appreciate you guys um, a lot, a lot, a lot. And so I did want to say that, um, da, 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 da. yeah, and honestly, um, but yeah, thank you. I just I wanted to make that very clear um, to everyone because it's special. Y'all are special. I've learned so much from everyone and like about myself. It's been a dope ass process. I look forward to continuing. Um, okay, so the reason why I was absent, I don't know if you saw the other video, but y'all, I'm in like a living situation from hell. Like, it's very wild. Like, my landlord, allegedly, I don't know. I don't even want to go that far because like, you know, girls not trying to get caught up on no legal shit. But my dumbass landlord is just making my life very difficult. And it just seems like every time this person comes around or every time they get upset with me, some terrible shit happens to my car. And so on the what was it the eighth i went outside to go look at my car my tires were slashed and my shit's not running right so anyway there's that and i kind of need to move it's just crazy and so i do have a, a gofundme up you know just in case you want to donate to it you don't have to honestly just thank you for even putting up with me while i'm like posting inconsistently because my i had grand plans um, and so I, I don't want, you know, I really don't want that kind of stuff to affect it, uh, affect what I'm doing on the internet or with my clients and stuff like that. And so, you know, thank you for putting up with me kind of ghosting and stuff like that because it, it sucks and I'm trying to like be around, but I also just don't want to expose people to certain stuff. Um, but yeah, so here's the fun part. Well, it's pretty quick. So here's the fun part. Um, so this month I decided I want to do something a little bit different. Um, and so what I want to do is, um, I want to show you the decks that I'm using. So I'm going to use these for all of the signs, all the readings, um, and, eh, you know, for all the signs. And so if you guys like these cards or whatever, definitely check them out. So I did want to show them to you. Um, so I feel like I use this deck a lot, but y'all already know it is what it is. So this is the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. It slaps. Um, I've been using this one for a while, kind of off and on. Sometimes I switch out the oracle cards I use, but I really do like this one. I'm feeling this one for the remainder of January. And then these tea leaf fortune cards, which are really great. I think they're going to kind of... Is this going to give us some specificity and some other stuff um, kind of going on? And then as always, you are going to have a tarot card that kind of represents... A major theme for the for the remainder of the month and um yeah this deck I really really like this deck I, I wanted to make sure that I could um really interpret it in a way that like was natural for me so that when I read for you guys you guys would really like it and so this is the uncommon tarot 
and it is so nice. I look forward to showing y'all the cars. They are so pretty, they're collage style. And like, okay, so this is kind of like, they have a silver guild on them. And then they're, ooh, saucy with the nails. Um, don't trip, they're just nail stickers, y'all. I ain't out here, ain't no nail shops open. I can't go to the nail shop, come on now. Um, and so I did want to show you this deck. And yeah, that was it. So if you guys have any questions about the cards and stuff, I'm gonna try and, you know, come up with more kind of instructional, not even instructional, but just tips and things like that. Try, gonna try to be more social on social media. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so thank you for listening and getting through these damn announcements is very long. I might not expect it to be that long, but at least now you know which cards are being used, my excuses for dipping off, and just overall, thank you. So thanks again for watching videos, liking, subscribing, anything, um, whether you sent a dollar or didn't send a dollar. Also, thank you if you've sent a donation. I really appreciate it. Um, just ever, you know anything kind words y'all are like you know it's very amazing how people can just be decent when you when you're going through it and so i do appreciate that and yeah let's get cracking with your reading it's gonna be fun i hope you're ready i'm ready i'm excited i'm hype and um you will be seeing more of me so check you later see you in your reading hey aries I, it's a little bit late <laughs> and I'm recording this or early depending on your perspective um my bad about the late readings you know I kind of explain everything in the intro just in case you jumped ahead um, I do have a GoFundMe right now because your girl is having some issues with my housing situation I... anyway um but I do want to get into your reading sorry I'm just like <clears throat> Slightly congested. This is your card. Actually, you know what? It's not. Sorry. Oh, I'm over here on some bullshit, but sometimes it happens because I realized I moved it wrong and it wasn't shuffled right, and I just don't want to do you like that. So please. But if you were curious, that first card was the Seven of Wands. Just in case you want to look that up. I'm trying to not run all my words all together. Okay. <laughs> King of Cups. You may be involved with the water sign or you could just be in like kind of this mood. LOL at this dude looking like Seth Rogen. You could be looking at a fish jump out of a cup and be like, where the hell did that come from? Which is kind of what I'm getting, which is also kind of King of Cups vibes. Um, he's not like, you know, it's like he's good with his emotions, but King of Cups is kind of like giving, but not like overly sappy, but prone to romance, but like not impervious to romance either, but you might be like, where the hell? I don't know. For some reason, I'm just looking at this fish like, what the? There's the eye, too. But the thing is, is that, like, it doesn't really look like... I mean, it's an eye. What are these emotions? Damn. Where'd they come from? I don't know. I'm sorry, Aries. It seems like... Maybe you got a lot of emotional currents flowing around you too. You're just trying to be like, oh, let's get it sorted. Well, you have to feel your feelings. It's the only way to sort them. Other, just like when you have to sort your thoughts, you think your thoughts. Okay, so in the past, three of cups, you may have had multiple suitors, or you could just have been like, I don't know, clicked up with some people could have been a third party situation as well or be feeling like there's someone on the outside staring at your relationship so a third party could also be other people in the mix or in your business and that's the kind of shit that'll distract you from doing what you need to do in a relationship so it's a good idea to kind of you know tell people when to mind their damn business because sometimes people don't mind their business Okay. 
So underneath the surface, so this might be something that you're kind of like hiding and this could be all the mixed emotions. It's not that you're hiding it because that, that shit doesn't sound right. And it's not, you don't need to tell anybody about your feelings if you don't want to. All right. And I say that because sometimes people want to nag and shit about it and they can't really handle the truth or it's just not their place. And so I don't want you to think as if like hurting your feelings. It's like, no, nah, you should tell someone some shit if it's important, but like, come on now. Um, but the page of cups, I gotta make sure I cover up her bosom. Her boobs are out. Anyway, um, I ain't trying to get YouTube to flag me or something it's crazy. Anyway, so see, um, it's a page of cups. So that's the ones under the surface. So there may be, and with this three of cups, it might not be a third party situation like that, but maybe you're getting messages of support. Maybe someone does have a crush. Um... It could be that you got a lot going on in terms of um, feelings. Like, may, it could be like family, friends, this. You be feeling a lot of emotions. Um, but I see justice on the top of this King of Cups. So it could be that, like, okay, if there's an end of, okay, so this looks like a third party situation for some of y'all. Or maybe you just, like, maybe. You so it's like if you're in a in a relationship, maybe it's a third party situation. If you're in a situation ship or if you're single, but you got a couple different people that you're talking to, it could be that. Um, but either way, you're just like, oh my gosh, like there's feelings here somewhere, right? But with the justice card, it's like I think things are gonna start to kind of fall into place or be put into place because like justice is really just like, oh shit, is is handled making them cuts or making these choices because it's just if you're caught up in like an ocean of feelings and it's like hella people involved it just becomes too much you know so and, and you don't need them too many cooks in the kitchen sounds like bullshit to me and then i got the empress card and then the five of swords okay so Here's the thing. If you live with somebody um, and y'all been beefing or it's been some back and forth shit or like issues with like potential, like, I don't know. If it's a domestic thing, it may be some drama. Y'all might be arguing frequently probably about how y'all gonna split shit up. Whoever it is needs to grow the hell up. All right. Although my advice would be if you haven't gotten into this conflict yet to pack all your favorite items first. Mm-hmm. Pack them. Stash them at the homie's house. Mm-hmm. And then you decide I'm getting rid of some shit or I'm leaving. I'm not saying take everything. Just be like, well, I mean, yeah, if it's kind of like a crazy situation, like that person, like, you know, all them shit, especially if they're being mean. Um, so like, you know, that's the one thing um also i see that like if it is a relationship thing y'all don't live together you may be seeing things from these different people that kind of shows that they're like gonna get in the way of either you creatively or starting something or continue to like grow in your life or they're gonna get into the, your way of your dreams of being a parent and that's if this is not um a domestic issue in terms of splitting up assets or shit up in a house the other thing is that it can also be y'all could have like an issue or be fighting or disagreement over somebody's mama because it's the empress card right here maybe she's the one that's involved a lot or 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 somebody's got issues with their mother and so like that shit's throwing a wrench and everything which is just like come on go to therapy go to therapy if the relationship means something to you you know I'm out here really talking, but look, some people have issues that are theirs that they bring into a relationship that they need to work on. And then there are also issues within a relationship that need to be rectified as well as a pair. But some people get the shit twisted and they never fix their problems and wonder why all the relationships go bad. And so, you know, depending on your situation, like for example, if somebody's mama's constantly in the mix, stirring shit up, then clearly, you know, you may be 25% of the problem. She may be, I don't know, 60. I take that back. She's putting the issue with whoever, you know, your partner is. 
point is just like, no, I don't like that. This looks like some shit. It could be, A, if she's trying to move in, you're like, nah, uh, hell no. Don't let nobody mama move in with you. People are like, damn, she mean, like, nah, 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 uh, I'm not. Um, it could be also, too, maybe you're with someone and you realize you want to be a parent or they do and it's like not going to work out. That might turn into the relationship dissolving as well. And I'm not saying like it's over, but it's just kind of like if, if, if it's at that point where it's like you're stopping me from getting to where I want to go or what I want to do or like these things that are that are important to me, then it's like. real G with it Aries I mean I don't think it's a bad thing because y'all will be committed to someone for a long time or to a, a job or just anything family anything all the time and you'll really be in it and it's just like you know so when it's time to end things whatever that thing is there's a little bit of guilt there I think you feel like emotionally you're sometimes like physically responsible for the other people but you don't shit they grown they are grown. Also, there may be a pattern with you beefing with people's mom. I don't know why I'm getting beef with moms, but I don't know. And it's like, you know, and it you might be beefing with somebody's mom because like, oh, I'm talking so much shit. Like some of them may be a little trashy. Um, uh, trashy. Um, other ones may be, it might just, it's just weird. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like maybe you're ready to have a mature relationship. That could be within your own relationship if you're choosing to stay in it. If whoever it is is getting their shit together and you're getting your shit together. Or it could be that um, you're realizing how responsible you are in the matter as well. Whether it be choices you make, choosing to stay, choosing these people, all that shit. Damn, this got real deep. I'm over here talking about relationships like I know some shit about them. But, you know, I'm, I don't know if I feel like I'm making sense right now. Priestess card at the bottom of the deck. You probably know what you need to do, too. Um, Priestess and the Wanderer which is the full card. Maybe they trying to hop their ass over to you or maybe you're trying to take a leap in the world card too i don't know someone might be worried about being rejected or conflict and shit like that either way here's my thing it can't be as bad as it is now it can only get worse if you're in a shitty situation it just gets worse boo um and um I personally don't believe in holding your back from holding yourself back from from being happy. Especially now. Come on, we've been popping off with this whole like end of the world shit for damn near a year and everyone's still acting like they got like tomorrow is promised. Y'all need to get it together. Whether it be like someone being complacent, that's what that is. Complacency is just whack as hell. So I might start the process of being a um I want to say a hermit finding the light within and finding the fulfillment within as well. Like maybe you aren't that bad and other people are just kind of <whistles> stupid. What is? After some time in limbo and being stuck in the past, you might slowly move towards a, a connection that is a, a some real shit. Because here, here's the thing. It's a hangman, right? Hangman, you sit there and you learn. It could be a situation where you're caught in, like, your own... Like, when people are like, karma, like, I mean, people say... People use words all the time, okay? So I don't even want to get into that. Um, but it could be that you're just... You've been stuck in this cycle... And you're looking at yourself stuck like, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> sorry, but you're just like, yo, like, ugh, like. <sighs> if it's relationships, it's, you keep getting into the same kinds of relationships. Like when you boil it all down, change the details, essentially it's all the same. 
you know. Um, it's like some some people will take on the role of like a spouse for someone and do all the spouse shit, and then like gently hint at wanting to get married and then be like shocked and shit because you've been doing all the spouse stuff this whole time and the person you've been with is just complacent thinking that's how it is to live with you like you know some people don't they're like I keep getting stuck in these situations where it's like I'm with someone for a long time I don't get married it's like well if you want to get married why why don't you tell these people this shit in early on you know let them know, like, hey, don't do shit like move in with someone and stay with their ass forever. Like, that doesn't make sense if that's not what you want. So maybe you're realizing that you've been doing shit and getting stuck in a holding pattern of things you don't really want. I'm sorry, that was just like a really ridiculous example, but I just feel like it's common. And um, a lot of people now are probably like, I can't believe I'm stuck with that person. Well, no one knew the world was going to end, but here we are, pissed. Uh, that was a rant that was a rant I'm not stuck with nobody either so I'm, I'm really not I mean I have roommates but my roommate's fine um but yeah damn I'm not even upset it's, it's I don't know it's, shit pissed me off um <laughs> sorry Aries but I just got real hot with it I just was like you know don't be stuck in a situation that doesn't make you happy um, okay, also, and then we have the Knight of Coins and the Two of Cups, right? So this is slowly moving towards that other situation. Could be with yourself, it could be with another person, but you know what I'm going to tell you, don't ever do shit for another person. If you want to make a major change, you do it for you. I mean, sometimes another person be on the other side of it waving at you like, hey, but even still, it's like you can't, you got to do it for you. Anything you got to do for you. Okay. So let's get into the tea about what may potentially happen or a random thing as well. Aries, I know that that was like a lot. Maybe it won't apply to everybody, but shit. It seemed real, real applicable. Sorry, I was talking to myself. One moment, because the tea leaf cards are like. Okay, so this reads like some of y'all might meet someone that's going to help you get money. And that's the one thing. So that's random. So that's the work thing. Okay. And also saying someone's like a stupid. So I'm going to just say don't be stupid. And there's something about heartache over what you no longer have. This could be maybe you disconnected from a person and it's um you're sad about it it could be temporarily like you can't talk to them or whatever and it could be that like i want to know what someone is behaving stupidly it's about because it's about turkey maybe they have a turkey tattoo i don't know what the fuck who are y'all hanging out with Oh, here's what might happen. All right, so it might be a situation where someone who was just like sitting around not really doing shit, two things. So if it's a thing, it, it might be a two suitor situation where one person who was just sitting on their ass not doing shit suddenly decides that they want to be with you now and you're like, it's dumb as hell. And it might also be a situation when, like, you're doing well financially or you're on the road to doing better. Or you're just, your shit is popping and this person wants to now come around. And it could be someone that you're with. They could just mentally or emotionally come around to the idea that maybe they're messing up. And it could just be so far gone that it's just like, what? And they might act a fool or start, like, being, they might do one of do two things. Try to be, like, an everybody type person, run around, make you jealous and shit like you care. Or... This might, you know, start to be, um, start to be nosy, like, in your shit, like, trying to go through your shit. 
Um, watch your money. Watch whatever shared shit you got, like whatever shared assets. If you if you have anything like that, share with this person. Um, especially if you know that they're prone to pettiness. Plan for them being ain't shit. Um, plan for them being ain't shit, so that you could just they're not even messing with your stuff because, you know. Aries will be ready to, to beat the hell out of someone over they shit. <laughs> Y'all be ready to go, and it's not even that serious. Um, and I see the strength card and the the knight of swords, so you might need to kind of chill. On, so okay, so you want to avoid being stupid because, like, if you're in a situation where like you used to be really close to someone and then like they're it's over. You still got to respect them to a certain extent. And also, more importantly, respect yourself. You have to hold yourself in high regard when you're when you're settling shit with people because that might be the last time you talk to them. Really, though. And so you don't want to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You want to say that shit for the end after you said everything important. Um, but you also, you may want to hold back kind of just talking shit or telling them anything or like kind of running, rushing into all... It could be you might need to avoid rushing directly into a new relationship. That doesn't mean you can't hang out with the new person after you done broke up with somebody, but don't go from that to suddenly like, you know, married or I mean, if, if for some people they can and it's perfectly fine. So again, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but it's just like, if you're rushing from one thing to another thing and it has shit all to do with like you fully thinking or planning something out, that's not cool. It's emotionally irresponsible, so you don't want to do that. But you know, if there's communication and you're just like X, Y, Z, this is what's up, then it's fine. What's this bear about? Oh, yeah. Oh, also, you might get over that shit fast, and it might surprise you. An opportunistic older man may come around to try to take advantage of someone financially. So watch his ass or watch for his ass. It could also be someone young who gives off old man vibes or is just like full of shit. Don't know what they talking about. Like they're like, I guess someone that might be out of touch with like what is actually a good choice to make for a business. And so especially if it's a business that exists online or some shit that you know about. So if you got one of them up in your ear, you just ignore their ass if you can't necessarily like directly engage. Damn. Aries Aries came with the goddamn heat. Y'all were like, mm-mm. And I just dropped a nail. Where'd that nail even come from? Truth be told. Okay, so it's going down this month. It might be like a week or two outside at the end of the month too, but it's coming down. Maybe someone's finally going to say what's on their mind. And then we got between worlds. See, this is all a split, so you might be, I don't want to say forced to make a decision, but you may be put in the position to choose. See, that's different. And I say that shit, right in the position to choose in the lover's card and that's usually about a major choice and i think a major choice in life or in love it could be two paths in love too or the truth about a love situation damn here's the thing the truth is a devastating breakup that might even leave you a little bit like out in the cold whether it be with money or just like you know with less stuff frees you and you're happy about it. That's the set. Oh, shit. Because, you know, truth hurts sometimes. So it could be one of, with the owl in the window. Maybe you like, look at that window. I'm flying right through that shit. And also the sun. Fire sign. Fire, 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 fire. Heartbreak. The Three of Swords is a heartbreak card, but that shit is not, like, devastating. Like, if I had seen the Three of Swords and then, like, the Ten of Swords or some shit, I'd be like, damn. Like, the Tower, three of the, like, oh, my God. Like, you good? Seven of Cups up in there? I'm like, no. Like, it'd be a lot. Um, 
Mike, she's between the earth sign and Aquarius. And you might sit there and wait. Okay. So if you gotta cho choose between two people, it could be someone who's like stable, been around for a while, and someone you see a new beginning and balance and like some dope, dope, like psh, with. So you might be choosing between those two people, right? And on the outside, you look cool. But on the inside, you like, oh, shit. <laughs> wait till they cancel each other out. Yeah, you are confused about who to tell, that you, who to give your cup to. Oh, nah, I'm going to just work and chill and avoid that shit. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Can't do that. You got to, if all else fails, make a pro-con list. You just, and, and also, I mean, people aren't pro-con lists, but it's like you need to break down what's going on you need to break down like hey is this my life is this what i'm going to be doing with my life and also too you know you don't want to stay in limbo in a place that you don't enjoy and if you're aware that you're not happy sometimes you got to take on the personal responsibility of releasing the other person because some people just aren't able to do it or they can't really see it so yeah and then the last card you got was a change in the wind i can tell you that shit by your up a change in the wind so something's gonna be switching up maybe you're gonna switch up but either way maybe it's your um time chance and opportunity to take the plunge but you got this shit aries okay quit playing quit playing see you later boss bye